You know, as far back as I can remember, Placeit has always been my go-to platform when I want to generate mock-ups to promote my designs on social media. And while they have an extensive library and it's really easy to use, there are occasions when, you know, I'm looking for a particular type of mock-up, a particular image or whatnot, and I just don't find it. And it happens. It's not the end of the world. But, you know, if I'm in a rush, the idea of actually requesting a photo to be made might take a little too long for me to be able to wait for it. So you might ask yourself, what are you going to do? Well, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how ReCraft has significantly helped us as the designers to create some amazing mock-ups. And there is something even more amazing, which I'm going to be sharing with you in a moment that will help you take your print-on-demand business to the next level and create some amazing mock-ups that are going to showcase your designs in ways that are going to blow your socks off. So if you're excited for that, let's head over to my computer to get started. Let's go. Okay, so welcome to my computer screen. And as you can see, I already have a page opened on ReCraft. Very simple to do in order to start a new project. You've got your black ReCraft icon at the top over here. You just click on it and choose new project, create new project, and you'll get a canvas area open very similar to what I have on screen right now. Recently, about seven to eight days from the time of recording this video, ReCraft came up with some exciting news in that you can now actually create mockups and import your own images onto those mockups so that you can actually use them on any social media platform, any website that you want. And it's really easy to use and it's absolutely fantastic. So let's start by creating a very basic mockup. And then I'm going to share something really special with you pertaining to a question that I had seen all on the social media platforms that ReCraft utilizes. So what we want to do is we want to click on mockup here and very similar to the raster and the vector tools, you have your little platform over here where you key in your prompt. Now, what I would highly recommend that you do is before you actually start typing, you set the size of the canvas that you want to create your mockup for. In order to do that, you've got this little handle over here and you're just going to slide it to the left or to the right. If you go to the left, your canvas is going to be more landscape oriented. If you move to the right, then it's going to be more portrait oriented. And I would suggest that you shoot for a nine is to six. This would be great for your pins on Pinterest. You can even utilize it for Instagram too as well. Um, if you want more of a squarish for an Instagram post or maybe Facebook, you just adjust the slider accordingly to whatever size canvas that you want to create. Once you have your canvas size ready, and you can see I have one set here, it's all in purple here, I can now proceed with typing in my prompt. So they give us a basic white t-shirt example. Let's take it one step further. So I'm going to type a young male in his early 20s standing in a park wearing a basic white t-shirt. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to click on ReCraft or hit enter on the keyboard. I will wait for ReCraft to do its magic in terms of creating the prompt. Okay, so here we've got this image here. What you'll also notice if you've been using ReCraft like me for some time now, in the mock-up section, you are not given two thumbnails that you can select from. So you only have the one image that's being generated and we get this square which has appeared on the chest area over here too as well. Now, it looks pretty good. We've got you know this gentleman here with a bit of a beard in a park looking off to his right. And if we want to keep it well and good, we can just go ahead and actually import our design and drag it onto the image. Now to do so, I have a folder just off to the right here, uh, which I downloaded some designs that I basically created on Canva. Now this here, guys, I'm going to save you a lot of time and a lot of frustration. I was actually uploading my designs onto ReCraft at the same dimensions that I obviously upload to my print on demand platforms like, you know, Merch by Amazon and all of the others, 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels at 300 DPI. I consistently got a message, it's too large, it's too large. And I was really getting frustrated. I couldn't figure out why or what was happening. And then I realized, you know, for a mock-up, the size of the design doesn't need to be that large. So I actually went in and I figured out a canvas dimension that would work really well. And basically it's 1000 pixels high by 780 pixels wide. And you want to make sure that your DPI is set to 72. So irrespective of what platform you are using to create your designs, be it Canva, Photoshop, Illustrator, Photopea, or whatnot, save yourself a lot of hassles, create an empty canvas 
of those dimensions and then just import your design and resize accordingly and then download and it will save you a whole slew of frustration and time when you come to upload your design onto recraft and you'll be able to speed up things more so i have a few already laid out um let's say for example um i downloaded a graphic of a smiling monkey's face from canva so i'm just going to click i'm going to drag it onto can onto recraft here as you can see it's just appeared and now i'm just going to move it close to the mock-up as I approach the mock-up, you're going to see that the graphic is going to gray out a little bit. Once that happens, that is Recraft's message to you that it is importing it into the mock-up. So I just drag it over here, boom. Can you see it's turned gray? I let go, it's loading it up onto the image. In a few moments now, we've got the graphic effectively covering the entire mock-up. But look how smart and intuitive this platform is. It didn't just plaster it all over the image, it kept it within the contours of the mock-up of the gentleman. Now obviously we don't want to create a mock-up like this, so it's just simply a question of grabbing the handles and resizing it until the graphic actually goes into the area where you want it to appear. Now. I tried dragging it onto the square, mm -hmm. and for some reason or another, it always it wasn't always working properly for me. So what I normally do is I just delete the square that Recraft provides, and then I grab the graphic after I've uploaded it, and I just continue shrinking it down until I get it to the area on the shirt where I want it to appear. And the great thing about it is that Recraft is clever enough that as I move the graphic, you can see that the graphic of the monkey is also changing in contours and in angle as well. So if you have a really complex mock-up, you can rest assured that once you actually import your design onto the mock-up, you're gonna be happy to see that the graphic of your design is going to move and it's going to sit onto the mock-up as you would like it to be. This was not always possible in the past, so this is another great step forward from the part of Recraft to actually help us you know, create some amazing mock-ups that we can share. And the best thing about it, guys, is that it's absolutely free to use. Now, as I stated earlier, as I was, you know, going through some of the community posts, I don't know if it was Instagram or Facebook recently, I noticed a question that somebody asked, wouldn't it be great if we could use these image generators to create shirts similar to those that are actually supplied by platforms like Printify and Printful? And I thought to myself, why not give it a try on Recraft in order to see if we can actually simulate and recreate those exact shirts on, Recre on Recraft for our mockups. And I'm actually happy to say that you can actually do that. Now I already went ahead and did it so that obviously this video won't be very long. Let me just click and drag it over here. So as you can see here, I've created a number of mockups here. Um, this one, when I click on it here, this was the Gildan 5000 t-shirt and my key prompt here is a man in his early 20s, well built, wearing a black Gildan 5000 t-shirt in a studio room with a mustard colored background. Now I've got Printful open up over here. Okay, so let me bring in Printful over here and we can see that this is the Gildan, let's just bring it side by side, the Gildan 5000 and if we zoom in over here, and we take a look at the sleeve areas, we've got sort of this, you know, this edging here on the on the sleeves. If I zoom in onto the mock-up that I generated, it is very, very similar to the one that we find on Printful, okay? So it is actually possible to generate different t-shirts, different hoodies, different products that you would find on Printful or Printify and actually emulate them into your mockups over here. And basically, if you're stuck for keywords or whatnot, all you need to do is go onto the platform over here and actually copy and paste that which, you know, they have in their titles. Paste it into Recraft, add a little bit, you know, of, of sauce on either side of the prompt over here to dress and to create an, you know, an appropriate image, and then allow Recraft to generate it. Failing that, you could actually even open up, place it, and find out what keywords that they use to generate for their own mockups, and then utilize those and emulate them in Recraft 2 as well. Last but not least, you can go to Google's Gemini or ChatGPT and ask it to generate, you know, a prompt for an image with the product that you want to actually create a mockup for that, you know, you can source from Printful or Printify and allow it to generate accordingly so that you can create some amazing prompts. So if we just look over here, I mean, this one over here was the 
Unisex Premium Hoodie Heritage M2580. This one was the long sleeve t-shirt over here, and this was the long sleeve tee Bella and Canvas 3501. Um, what it had a little difficulties doing was with respect to the coffee mugs, but then when I generated one sort of like this, as you can see here, it gave me an 11 ounce mug here, and basically the prompt for this one was an 11 ounce coffee mug placed next to oranges and cinnamon on a kitchen tabletop. Shh, I got this prompt from Place It. Okay, so you can do these kinds of things. You can borrow them and put them into Recraft and come up with some amazing things. The same holds true for women's wear too. So this was a pink unisex staple t-shirt Bella Canvas 3001 while standing in front of a city building wall. And again, all you need to do is just grab your designs. So let me just grab one right now here. Um, let's say we're going to do something, the wild instinct for this one in the pink shirt. I'm just going to click and drag it. We'll wait for it to load up. Make sure that you actually download your graphic with a transparent background because you don't want to have a background. It just won't look good. So I'm going to drag it. It turns gray. We'll wait for it to load up there. There it is. I'm just going to move it. Again, I'm not going to panic because, you know, the, the design has covered the entire model. And I'm just start grabbing the handles and decreasing until I get to a size that I'm actually happy with we can see that it is actually moving around here. And then once you're happy with the placement, all you need to do is click on export and then download it as a PNG, okay? Then if you want to obviously resize it, you can take it to any third-party platform resizer, resize it accordingly, or start a new project in Recraft, bring the image back into it, and Recraft also has a, an upscaler that you can utilize too as well. Now, the final thing that I want to show you is just how versatile and how smart Recraft is with respect to actually placing your design. And uh, let me put it to the test here. And I typed in the prompt, a close-up photo of a white volleyball sitting on the hand of a volleyball player, just as he's about to hit it into play at the beach during the blue hour of the day, okay? And I just noticed I have a bit of a spelling mistake there, but obviously, Recraft got what it is that I was actually hoping for. So let's bring that monkey face back onto as well. So I'm going to click, I'm going to drag it into play here. We're going to bring it on. I'm going to import it onto the mock-up. As you can see here, it has covered the entire volleyball and part of the arm. We don't want the arm covered. So just going to drag it and I'm going to, now sometimes it pops out. It's not the end of the world. You just keep moving it around. And that means that you just need to grab one of the opposite handles and resize accordingly. And take a look at the graphic. As I move it from left to right, it's also moving to the dimensions of the ball too as well. So the possibilities are endless with what you can create on Recraft with respect to generating mockups for free to help take your print on demand business to the next level. I certainly hope that you found value in this video. I hope that you're as excited as I was, and I still am, at the possibility of creating some amazing mock-ups for your respective print-on-demand business. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, smash that like button, click on the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. I want you to have fun with this platform. I want you to create something amazing and gain all the success that you can possibly gain with your print-on-demand business. Now, I want you to click on the thumbnail that has just appeared on your screen now, bent on helping you to take your print-on-demand business to the next platform. Thanks for watching. I'll see you there.